Welcome to another Ask Danny. You know, I'll tell you, I'm really excited about this. It's been a while since I've done an Ask Danny video. I gotta admit, I gotta admit, I gotta... So let's just dive right into it, right? Isn't that what you guys want? You guys want to hear my point of view on things and my advice and my answers to life because I am a fucking guru, man. At what age did you start doing drag and how did you start? Well, in high school, I was too creative of a kid to be one gender, and I listened to a lot of influential punk music, um, and I really was against the grain in life, no matter what it was, like, give me a box of crayons and tell me I need to use one, I'm gonna shoot you with an Uzi and take all the crayons and draw around your body. So yeah, I really went against what everybody else thought was right and, and what society thought you should be. Um, anything that's politically correct and anything that is proper is just completely not me. I don't agree with anything. I'm, I'm a really big like punk brat kid at heart and that's just the way I've always been since a kid. Like my, I'm very stubborn and it's my way or not even the highway. It's my way or the motherfucking low way. I started drag basically when I was like, I don't know, because it's so like foggy. I would say I started like putting makeup on like late 14, early 15. Um, yeah, I was just a creative kid and um, it was just boring to me to wear pants all the time that were too baggy and every trend I would always play it up and that's how I knew that I was going to end up being a drag queen because I play up pop culture and I play up what society thinks is right and that's always been my kind of thing so yeah. hope that answers your question. What kind of case do you have for your iPhone, Daddy? I have this drag case. I don't know if you can see it. It's very drag-tastic. Um, this is the case I carry around when I'm in drag, and I usually have a clear case, but I dropped my phone and it cracked and things, so I have to wear this transsexual case 24-7. Kinda like it. Hi Danny, I'm a 15-year-old bisexual boy, and I'm kinda confused with myself, because I like boys, but I really wanna go out with girls, but my boy liking takes over, what should I do? I would say you should just do whatever the hell your heart and penis and brain tells you to do. I know you're 15 and me being 22 is very wrong to say that, but... I was your age once and when I was 15 I felt like I was doing more mature things than I was now um just go with the flow don't listen to anybody you will soon be my age and realize that you asked this ridiculous question and just ended up not caring because your instincts will take over the fact and just overshadow my answer anyway Hi Danny, do you have an agent who books you for your shows or appearances, or do you manage yourself? I manage myself, and let me tell you why. Again, I am a very big rebel. Um, any type of authority, even if it's good for me, is not good for me up here. I don't listen to anybody. Um, Although I should have an agent, I'm very eh because I don't really have good experience with agents. So I just book myself everywhere um, while I, they contact me. I want to start doing drag, but I don't know what to do when it comes to heels. I wear a ten and a half regular shoe and I don't want to go to a shoe store and then look at me like what the fuck when I ask them for a huge size. Do you know what heel size stores normally carry? What? What? Do you know what heel size stores normally carry? I never, w oh, I lie. My first pair of heels I bought in Hollywood Boulevard, but that's because they have like Drag Queen Central and you can shop for whatever you want. But now I always buy my shoes online and people disagree with that because like, what if it doesn't fit? What if it doesn't fit? It's like, bitch, what if you don't know your own damn shoe size? You're an idiot. My shoe size is a nine and a half, so I wear a size 12 just so they're comfortable in heels. But um, yeah, just go online, snaz75.com, have a great site. They're not paying me to say that. I actually shop there frequently. Go to Amazon, they usually go up to like a size 16 in like stripper heels. Go to stripperqueen.com. Um, you can go to so many websites that have like all the way up to size 16. Go on eBay, search shoe sizes, <clears throat> and look up specific like dance, dance shoes that's basically the politically correct way of saying stripper horseshoes um and they usually have like huge sizes because I feel like they don't want to say drag queen shoes they have to like 
say strippers have huge feet. Like, I don't know what it is, but yeah, online. I don't ever shop in person for heels. Why do you and Chris not talk anymore? By the way, I love you, Danny Noriega. Well, if you've been keeping up with my statuses, Chris and I are friends again, and he's actually flying into LA today, and I'm really excited. I'm going to be going to visit him, and he's going to be coming to my show Wednesday, and I'm going to one of his little tapings that he's doing as well, and I love him to death, and our friendship will never die. We will fight, always, because we disagree very hard, and sometimes we just need breaks from each other because we're so overwhelming, and we have huge personalities that kind of clash sometimes, but when it's good, it's really good, and he's one of my best friends, so yes. Hey Danny, my name is blah 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 blah. I'm 13, and I was wondering what kind of hair dye did you use to dye your hair red? By the way, I love you so much, and I am always watch your videos when I have a bad day. Thank you so much, Gabby Gonzalez. I guess I could say your name because I thought it was going to be something like really deep, and I was like, oh shit, I want to put this bitch on my ass. Um, when my hair was red, I always dye my hair. Hold on, let this loud ass car pass by. Thanks, sir. Have fun at work, fucker. Okay, um, but I usually like use like punky colors or um, manic panic uh, go to Hot Topic they have like all those like hair dyes and stuff like that you can even find them at your like local beauty supply store and just get like the really cherry red I think it's called um, and yeah they're like this is let me give you like some tips if you want like fiery fiery red hair but you don't want to look like a clown um, I love looking like a clown so I don't really have this problem but I've done this as well when I was trying to do like the tea look like real natural but I wanted that fiery slut red hair um, dye your hair red with a regular red um, hair dye from like Garnier or whatever just a regular hair dye it's gonna eventually fade to like a light brown and it's gonna look like caca so when it looks like caca get the manic panic dye mix it in with a little bit of water put it in your hair, wash it out really quick, quick, and your hair will be like fiery, fiery red. But when it like washes out in a couple of days, it's gonna be like a really bright, natural looking fire crotch red hair. And anybody that like knows you is not gonna wanna hug you because it looks like you're gonna fucking burn their hair off. Hope that helps. How do you make the moments you spend with the person you're infatuated with more special? And if you had one more day left alive with your boyfriend or crush, how would you spend it? Um, just get to know the person. If you're infatuated with somebody, hopefully it's mutual. If not, you love their company, that's fine. Um, don't let anybody judge you. You have fun with your life. Get to know them. Make sure that they enjoy your company as well. Um, relate and just live it up. If I had one day to live, I would spend it with the person I'm talking to right now. Um, how would I spend it? Oh, uh, just be very spontaneous. I would probably try to convince him, which it probably wouldn't work, to skinny dip or something, like, in the canyons. I don't know. I'm crazy. But, yeah, I guess that's it. Good luck. What ethnicity are you? Um, I feel like I answer this in every Ask Danny. I am, I don't even know, I know, like, nationality, or is that the same thing? Whatever. Um, I'm Native American, white, German, um, a Mexican, and I think my grandma's, like, a little bit of French. Basically, I'm a mutt. Like, if I was at, like, a pound, like, they would just kill me in a week. Like, no one would want to buy me. What do you think about Justin Bieber? And I'm obsessed with him. I know, too much about him. Do you think that's a little creepy? I don't think that's creepy. I think it's... This fly just really wants to get in this camera, doesn't it? I don't think it's creepy. I think it's sweet when people are... This fucking fly is just dying to die. Okay. I like his song. If I was your boy, man, I never let you go. I could do the but I wanna eat an early mom. But like, I don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of Justin Bieber. Um, don't kill me. I don't not not like the guy. I mean, I don't not like him. Um, but I'm just not gonna like be rocking out and say, baby, 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 oh, like in a gay club. Like, hello. What's your tattoo of? This one means music in Japanese. Super kawaii. And this one means cool. It's a treble clef with a rose and a little design that I found online and kind of like tweaked it to my own want liking. I'm going to be getting blasted right here soon, so look forward to that. What's your favorite superhero? I love Catwoman. I know she's not your typical superhero, but she never really kills people. Um, she's infatuated with Batman. Her intentions are right. She was just brought up kind of like pretty crazy, so... 
I kind of like her. Mm. Hi, Danny. I need some advice for making friends. I just graduated high school and I'm really afraid I won't make friends in college. I literally have no friends and my mom can't drive me anywhere during the summer. How can I make friends? Do I really need any? I mean... I'm not you, but you don't need friends. Like, I mean, you don't even need my advice on this. Like, how did you make your friends in high school? Ooh, look at that jiggle. That ain't cute. How'd you make friends in high school? You just open up, you be yourself. If they don't like it, they can fuck themselves. If they do, you fucking have a cool friend that you could fucking eat amazing fucking marshmallows with. Just be yourself. It's so cliche, but just be yourself. Breathe. Do your homework. And if you're really smart, let them cheat. Yeah. Do you have a mole on one of your nuts? I do. Oh, um, cool. Well, I kind of do. I don't like to call it a mole because there's no hair growing out of it, but it's a beauty mark, I guess. It's a cute little tiny, tiny, tiny little, like, speck, but it's really, really just fucking gorgeous. What would you consider a great date? See, I am so bad at dates, and I feel bad for, like, the guy that I'm talking to right now, because it's like, whenever we hang out, it's like, I have no plans, and it's like, I try to, but it's like, I don't know, like, I just want to see the person, and, like, talk to them and get to know them. It doesn't matter if we're sitting in front of my house for hours talking, it doesn't matter if we're on my roof. My ideal date, honestly, okay, let me just get this out of the way. First daters. I suggest that you take somebody that you're meeting off the internet out to the movies just in case that they're fog in person, just in case you don't have that natural connection so you can just watch the movie, get it over with, oh, I'm tired, oh my god, go. But if you like them, then after that you guys can hang out forever. I mean, just my ideal date, I don't know, order a pizza and sit on a dirt road and just talk about life. What's your favorite clothing brand? And are you into Louis Vuitton and Gucci and all those really expensive brands? By the way, love your videos. My favorite clothing brand is Salvation Army, um, Wasteland, Melrose, Street. I don't really have brands. I don't live off a of brand. I'm not a brand whore. But no, you won't catch me in a Louis Vuitton bag or a Louis Vuitton shirt or a dress. Maybe a dress for drag, but I'm not really a label whore. If it looks good on my body, I'm gonna buy it. Hey Danny, I have long haws. What do I do to hide them? For those of you that don't know what long haws are, you are probably white. Um, long haws are love handles. Let me see. What do you do to hide them? Wear high-waisted skirts. Um, wear a girdle. You can wear a corset. You could wear so many things. Look up online. I'm sure you like can see even like on TV shows like on TLC like what not to wear. Like they'll show you like what to wear and stuff like that. Um, there's they're not that big of a deal. I think they're beautiful. I have them too a little bit, but who cares? Do you have grinder? This fucking bug does, and he's about to get grinded in the damn machine. Get the hell out of here. I do have a grinder, but I don't use it anymore. Um. I'm actually thinking about deleting it, to be honest, like, for real. Um, I don't use it. I haven't been on there for a while. I, like, changed my picture, like, a while ago, like, a couple weeks ago. But I haven't talked to anybody on there, um, or anything. So I'm thinking I'm about to delete that pretty soon, because I have no use for it anymore. Do you know Sharon Needles? Just curious. Everybody always thinks that Sharon and I know each other. There's people digging in my trash right now as I speak, and this is very awkward because they are staring at me like I'm a freak. <laughs> yeah, lady, I am weird, and you're the one going through my trash. So yeah, everybody thinks I know Sharon. I met her twice. I don't really know her, like know her, but I love her. And we follow each other on Twitter and I know that she is fucking kick ass and she is really the voice of the young people in the new drag community. She is literally like what we need right now. 
and I was so happy that she freaking won because all these damn bitches doing Beyonce every time they perform need to just watch one of her shows and just gag. Have you met Willem and if so, what is she like? <laughs> Willem's one of my friends. Willem is probably, I would say, I don't even know how to describe Willem. I, amazing, like for real. Um, huge, I know I'm bursting your image. Um, Willem, don't kill me. Huge heart, huge heart, like, you don't even understand, like, okay, this is the thing, with my friends and I, like Chris, and like a lot of my friends, we have a certain type of humor where we get people, and I'm very, very good at knowing how the human mind thinks, and I'm very observant, and I'm very, I analyze everything, and I always know how a person is, usually like really fast. Why are there people in front of my house having a conversation while they dig through my trash? This is very annoying. Yeah, keep it moving. Um, so yeah, Willem is amazing, um, if you get a chance to know him, you will understand the type of person that he is, and I completely got it really quick. Um, just a huge heart. Hey Danny, if you had a person that you liked before as a crush, but don't like that person anymore, and he kept texting you, but you didn't want to talk to him anymore because you felt uncomfortable in that situation, what would you have done? Ignore him! How old are you? I am 22. Can't you tell? Hello, Danny. How did you come up with Ador Delano's name? Well, Alice619, um, Ador's first name was Violet Valentine. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, I didn't know what to name her. I would go out as Danny with a full beat mug. Um, I didn't know, but her name was Violet from the movie Jawbreaker, which is kind of weird because one of my best friends is Courtney from the Jaw Jawbreaker movie, so it's kind of cool. But um, yeah, I was going through some names with my brother's girlfriend and Adore came up and she had informed me that Adore was my brother's like little friend's like nickname or whatever. And I was like, I don't care, it's mine now, because I love it. So I was Adore. I was basically forced to keep it because my first show was like the week after and I was like, fuck, fuck, what's my name? So I was like, Adore. And they're like, Adore! And then that got like thousands of hits on that video, so now everybody knew me as Adore because Perez Hilton put it on his damn website and I was like, god damn you Perez, now I can't change my name. Um, but yeah, Delano means of the night in French origin. And I am a kid of the night, I'm a creature of the night, and I'm a woman of the night, so that fit me very well, and I like dark shit, like you guys all know I'm into zombies and like shit like that. How many wigs do you have? By the way, I look up to you in so many ways and I always watch your videos. Thank you very much, Brian13Zombie, I'm from Spring. Um, <laughs> I don't even know why I read this question because I have no idea. Do you think it's possible for a straight guy to fall in love with a boy? but not to be attracted to any other guys. Yes, I do, because I think a lot of people get confused with labels. Um, individuality is individuality, and sometimes people that um, call themselves straight do fall for guys, and they get confused, and they are in denial for a while, but they just can't fight that passion. And it's all fear, people. America is ran by fear. Fear of homosexuality, fear of feelings, fear of instinct, fear of rejection, fear of disappointment, um, disappointing their parents, it has to do with a lot of things, so I think labels are very, very, um, overrated within the straight community, you can clock me on it, we can argue about this, it's fine, but labels within the straight community are very, thrown, they're thrown around a lot and without even analyzing anything because of the way that they were brought up, they could be having, how do you say it, oppressed feelings? and not acting on them, and they could pretend like they're straight because they think they'd fit in with society, and when shit gets real, and they like that dick, um, they don't know how to act. So yes, I do think in that aspect, straight people can, but a real straight guy, no. I'm just basing it off of what situation I think you're probably in, and he's probably not straight if he's showing you those type of signals, so that's all I'm trying to say. How do you get noticed on YouTube? I'm not that big, but I almost feel like I am. You're awesome, by the way. Well, uh, American Idol kind of did that for me. 
I've been doing videos since I was 13 years old on MySpace. Um, Chris and I like laugh about it. We did the same videos like dancing to Fergalicious and like leopard pajamas and underwear. Like we're literally like the same people. But um, I've been doing videos since I was 13 on YouTube. Then I moved it on to you uh, YouTube when I was 15, I think. 14, about 2005 I was 15, 14 and a half, because I did it right away, I was like, ooh, what the hell is this YouTube shit? And then, um, Brooker's was like the only famous thing back then, and, um, yeah, I was doing shit on there for a while, so I've been doing it for a while. A lot of people think that, oh, American Idol cast staff does YouTube videos now because he has no life. No, I've actually had an interest in this my entire life, I love reaching out to audiences. Back then I had, like, 2,000 subscribers, 3,000 subscribers and it went up to almost 100,000 subscribers, which I just want to address right now. I love you guys, every fucking single one of you. I'm not even kidding, for real. Very unrealistic. I didn't even know this could happen. I want to thank Adele and my mom and um, Buffy, who I miss and love, God rest her soul. I think she's dead now, she ran away. But yeah, you just work at it. Um, be different, be unique. Make sure you talk about popular topics, your opinion on things. It just depends what kind of videos you do. Just be different. Do you ever go on bylatinmen.com? If so, who's your favorite vato? <laughs> oh, uh, no. I used to when it first came out because John had like a free password to it. So I would just like go on there and touch my private. But now I'm not down to pay that much money to see people that I see in clubs all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of awkward anyway. I guess that is it for Ask Danny. Thank you guys so much for requesting this non-goddamn stop. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and um, remember to douche and powder.